What's up guys, here we have some Nikolai Vodka in Teleplay. Let's, let's let it move some more, just so you see the full effect. So before and after. So before and after. Okay guys, so let me let me show you what I'm doing here. So So first things first, I have um I have a blue screen because some of these elements here are green and I use this fake moss here to kind of cover up these corners here which actually you don't even see so you don't really need this moss. The bottom line, I use a blue, a blue screen because there are some greenish type elements here. Um and so, and then I lit this blue screen with one, two 100 watt LED daylight bulbs. And I'm lighting this product scene with one 60 watt daylight LED bulb. And before I had, before I filmed this scene, I was testing out um, two additional lights lighting this scene. But I found out that one was more than enough because when I had two more lights lighting this product, it, began to look unnatural because there was just too much light shining on, on this scene, which made it look fake relative to the background that was happening. Um, so I recommend, you know, you have like two to three lights because obviously it's easier to take away lights than to add lights, which you don't have for other scenes. Um, so let me show you some more of the physical setup. I have a Lazy Susan and uh, put it on a little board on top. I got this, these decorations from Michael's for around $10. And I'm using these decorations, hold on, let me turn off this, these sound effects. I'm using these decorations because, again, uh, someone emailed me three days ago saying, hey, you don't use any transparent products with Teleplay. And that's a good uh, critique. It's because transparent products like this are, are notoriously, notoriously hard to do. But one way to make it work well with a grease, green screen or a blue screen when you have something like this is to simply put something behind the product um, which looks natural with the, your product itself. You know, in this case, I got this stuff from Michaels, um, or it can be some packaging, or it can be, you know, something else related to vodka. Because um, let me show you what happens when I remove uh, the, like, let's see what this bottle looks like uh, without the stuff behind it. So as you can see, you know, it's depending on how realistic you want it to get. Um, it looks okay, but it looks a lot better when there's something behind it. Um, you know, you can get by just without any of these things behind it. Let me show you what it looks like without it. See, like, you know, um, in order to make this look a little better without the stuff behind it, let me, I'd have to add more light. See, like, you know, if you don't want realism, you can kind of get by without anything behind it. But uh, I highly suggest if you're doing something there, like a literally transparent, put something behind the product so, to make it look good. And in this case, even though the Achilles heel of Teleplay is uh, our transparent products, by... Putting something behind it, it's like not a subtraction from the scene, it's an addition. So it's kind of like you're cheating, but in a way that actually makes the scene even better, if that makes sense. So now obviously it doesn't look good, but let me show you what I'm doing for the background. For the background, I downloaded uh, this background from pixels.com. 
From Pixels.com, I downloaded one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, six different options. And then I found the one I like best. And then for the foreground, if you search for plant one, just search for plant one. I decided to keep it really simple. Um, in terms of the foreground, keep the focus on the product. So yeah, plant one. Okay, and then now just move it here. And that's it guys for the, then I added some music. Go back, go to background audio, click on farm animals. You have to download it first and then play. And that's it. Um, I'm here if you have any questions.